Hey there, this is Pastor Jeff. My uh, video started automatically. It did a wave thing and it started. That's kind of cool. All right, so anyway, today is Sunday, June 11th, 2023. It is the second Sunday after Pentecost. For our daily lectionary readings on Sunday, we simply read all of the readings that we hear at church on Sunday. So our first reading is Genesis 12, 1 through 9. Now the Lord said to Abram, Go from your country and your kindred and your father's house to the land that I will show you. I will make of you a great nation, and I will bless you and make your name great so that you will be a blessing. I will bless those who bless you, and the one who curses you I will curse. And in you all the families of the earth shall be blessed. So Abram went as the Lord had told him. And Lot went with him. Abram was 75 years old when he departed from Haran. Abram took his wife Sarai and his brother's son Lot and all the possessions that they had gathered and the person whom they had acquired in Haran. And they set forth to go to the land of Canaan. When they had come to the land of Canaan, Abram passed through the land to the place of Shechem, to the oak of Morah, at the time the Canaanites were in the land. Then the Lord appeared to Abram and said, To your offspring I will give this land. So he built there an altar to the Lord who had appeared to him. From there he moved on to the hill country on the east of Bethel and pitched his tent. With Bethel on the west and I on the east, there he built an altar to the Lord and invoked the name of the Lord. And Abram journeyed on by stages toward the Negev. Our psalm reading is going to be Psalm 50, 7 through 15. Hear, O my people, and I will speak, O Israel. I will testify against you. I am God, your God. Not for your sacrifices do I rebuke you. Your burnt offerings are continually before me. I will not accept a bull from your house or goats from your fold. For every wild animal of the forest is mine, the cattle on a thousand hills. I know all the birds of the air, and all that moves in the field is mine. If I were hungry, I would not tell you, for the world and all that is in is mine. Do I eat the flesh of bulls or drink the bloods of goats? Offer to God a sacrifice of thanksgiving and pay your vows to the Most High. Call on me in the day of trouble. I will deliver you and you shall glorify me. Our second reading comes from the book of Romans chapter 4 verses 13 through 25. For the promise that he would inherit the world did not come to Abraham or to his descendants through the law but through the righteousness of faith. If he is the adherents of the law who are there to be the heirs, faith is null and the promise is void. For the law brings wrath, but there is no law, neither is there violation. For this reason it depends on faith, in order that the promise may rest on grace and be guaranteed to the descendants not only to the inherents of the law, but also to those who share the faith of Abraham, for he is the father of all of us. As it is written, I have made you the father of many nations, and the presence of God in whom he believed, who gives life to the dead, and calls us into existence the things that do not exist. Hoping against hope, he believed that he would become the father of many nations according to what was said. So numerous shall your descendants be. 
He did not weaken in faith when he considered his own body, which was already as good as dead. For he was about a hundred years old, or when he considered the bareness of Sarah's womb. No distrust made him waver concerning the promises of God, but he grew strong in his faith as he gave glory to God. Being fully convinced that God was able to do what he had promised, therefore his faith was recognized to him as righteousness. Now the words it was reckoned to him were written not for his sake alone, but for ours also. It will be reckoned to us who believe in him, who raised Jesus our Lord from the dead, who was handed over to the death for the trespasses, and was raised for our justification. Our New Testament reading, which is the Gospel reading, is Gospel of Matthew chapter 9, verses 9 through 13, 18, and 26. As Jesus was walking along, he saw a man named Matthew sitting at the tax booth. And he said to him, Follow me. And he got up and followed him. And as he sat at dinner in the house, many tax collectors and sinners came and were sitting with him and the disciples. When the Pharisees saw this, they said to his disciples, Why does your teacher eat with the tax collectors and sinners? But when he heard this, he said, Those who are well have no need for a physician, but those who are sick. Go and learn what this means. I desire mercy, not sacrifice, for I have come to call not the righteous, but sinner. While he was saying these things to them, suddenly a leader of the synagogue came in and knelt before him, saying, my daughter has just died, but come and lay your hands on her, and she will live. And Jesus got up and followed him with his disciples. Then, suddenly, a woman who had been suffering from hemorrhages for twelve years came up behind him and touched the friends of his cloak. For she said to herself, If I only touch his cloak, I will be made well. Jesus turned, and seeing her, he said, Take heart, daughter, your faith has made you well. And instantly the woman was made well. When Jesus came to the leader's house and saw the flute players and the crowd making a commotion, he said, Go away, for the girl is not dead, but sleeping. And they laughed at him. But when the crowds had been put outside, he went in and took her by the hand, and the girl got up. And the report of this spread throughout the district. Here ends our readings for the day.